In this video, we're going to explore AP Precalculus Topic 2.4, which is Exponential Function Manipulation. Uh, so we're going to be taking things that you've been doing since Algebra 1, Algebra 2, uh, and looking at some graphic consequences of these properties. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's review some properties. Uh, the product property for exponents, b to the m times b to the n, is b to the m plus n. If we have a negative exponent that takes our base and puts it in the denominator of a fraction, uh, and then if you have a rational exponent, that is equivalent to a root. So this would be the kth root of b. Uh, so let's do some manipulation. So here I've got four different statements, and I'm going to rewrite them with a base of 2. Uh, so 2 to the fourth times 2 to the Sorry, 2 cubed plus 2 to the 4th would be 2 to the 3 plus 4, which would be 2 to the 7th. 2 to the x times 2 to the 6th would be 2 to the x plus 6. Here, I'm going to rewrite my two, 16 as a base 2. So 2 to the 4th gives me 16 times 2 to the 4th. Now I can apply my product rule and make 2 to the 16th. 8 is 2 cubed, so we get 2 to the 3 plus x. All right, so we're going to tie this back to a unit 1 topic of transformations. Okay, if I had the graph of 2 to the x and g of x is 2 to the x plus 3, uh, what is the graphical transformation? Well, if we're adding directly to the x value, that's going to move this to the left. It's going to translate the graph. So the left, three units. OK, so we're going to go ahead and graph 2 to the x, which is my f of x. Uh, 2 to the 0 is always 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. So that's going to be my graph of f of x, which is my original function. Now we're going to translate this whole thing to the left three units. So I'm going to take this point, pull it back here. I'm going to take this point, pull it back here. Take this point, pull it back. Take this point, there. So that's g of x. Okay, so we have that translation. Now let's look at the properties and how this relates. Okay, so 2 to the x plus 3, we're saying is somehow equal to 8 times 2 to the x. So we'll prove that. If I make this 2 cubed and 2 to the x, I can rewrite this as 2 to the 3 plus x, which would be equivalent to x plus 3. Okay, well, this and this are equal to each other. So if I have 2 to the x and 8 2 to the x, okay, if I were ignoring what I just did and I had 2 to the x and I said, what's that translation? Well, if I'm multiplying on the outside by 8, uh, that means it's going to be dilated vertically. By a factor of 8. Okay, so let's look at that graph. Okay, if I took all these y values and I multiplied them by 8, we have that vertical stretch that 1 goes to 8, the 1 half would go to 4, and so on. So this graph is both a horizontal translation and a vertical dilation all at the same time. So our conclusion is every horizontal translation of an exponential function, f of x equals b to the x plus h, is equivalent to a vertical dilation of a plus b to the x, where my a is b to the h. Okay, so we're going to rewrite each as in an equivalent form using the product property and describe the horizontal translation from the parent function 2 to the x. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing my 4 as 2 squared. So this is equivalent to 2 to the x plus 2, which means my graph is translated 
left two units because it's a plus. This would be the same as 1 16th times 2 to the x. So how do I express 1 16th uh, as a power of 2? Well, 2 to the 4th is 16, so 2 to the negative 4th is going to be 1 16th. So this would be 2 to the x minus 4, which means my graph would be translated to the right 4. So it's just that recognizing that a vertical dilation with exponential functions is also uh, a horizontal translation. Next we have the power property for exponents. So when we have b to the m to the n, that's equivalent to b to the m times n. Uh, so I'm going to use that here. So 3 to the 5th squared would be 3 to the 10th. 2x to the 4th would be 2 to the 4x. And we're going to run a similar exploration. Okay. So we've got f of x is still 2x, 2 to the x, and then we have 2 to the 2x. Well, if I multiply the x by some factor, that's going to be a horizontal dilation. This one's going to be a horizontal dilation. by factor of one half. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to compress the graph horizontally. It's going to take all of those x values and squish them towards the y-axis. So let's graph this. We'll graph 2 to the x. Okay, then I'm going to take all of my x values and push them in. So this is still going to cross here, but this one is going to be at 1 half, this is going to be at 1, this one's going to be at 1 and a half. Okay, so there's my horizontal dilation. Uh, but then we're going to look at the relationship between this using the power rule. So I've got 2 to the 2x, and I want to show that it equals 4 to the x. Well, I can rewrite this as 2 squared to the x, which is the same as 2, 2 to the x, or I could equivalently do it over here. Okay. Well, we had a horizontal dilation, and then all of a sudden now I've got 4 to the x. If I look at this graph, if I plug in 0, we get 1. If we plug in 1, we get 4. Uh, so this ends up being equivalent to a different base exponential function. So our conclusion is that every horizontal dilation of an exponential function, b to the cx, has an equivalent changing of the base uh, to the exponential function. So my new base would be b to the c to the x. So we're going to rewrite each uh, with an equivalent base. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the 4x. So my new base would be 2 to the 4 which would be 16 to the x. Here I could rewrite this as 3 to the 3x. 3 to the 3x is 27, so this new base is 27. Okay, next we have just more properties of exponents, um, just in a function notation. So we've got f of x equals this guy. So if I want to find f of 1, that's going to be 4 times 7 to the 1 half. Well, 7 to the 1 half is equivalent to the square root of 7. Over here, we're going to have 3 times 8 to the negative 1 half. So we'll have 3 over, because the negative is going to put it in the denominator, and I'm going to turn it into a square root. Uh, so you may, I would imagine seeing this on a multiple choice, so you may see this answer presented this way. You may see it also presented as a uh, simplified radical that I am unclear on. But both of those would be uh, results of that calculation. Uh, so that was AP Precalc topic 2.4.